Hello, welcome to WG Develops. And today we're gonna to make a very simple, basic to-do list for beginners. All right, so let's take a look at our code. So in our um, index.html, we have an h1, you know, right here, the to-do list. We have a div with a class of a. This div has the input, our input, and also our button. And we have a, another div with a class of box with an unlisted item and an li which is this. So our JS doesn't have anything yet. Style, or we set our background color. We have the box, the dot box, which is this right here. We've got the width set, the height, the border, the margins are auto, which centers it. Also the padding zero, so it creates this box, put the border red and all that. The dot A, which has the input and the button we align that center, margin, bottom 20 pixels, and the H1 center, <coughs> text on the center. So you should uh, you should know basic HTML and CSS. I'm gonna go through that. So I'm, I'm just you know running through that really fast. Now let's get to the JavaScript. So first thing we want to do is we're going to click on this button, get the text that we have in here that and then put that text in the um right here where these where the um our to do's go let's have our main selectors set our comments so first we're gonna get the button <coughs> button equals document we're gonna use query selector for this query selector and then we're gonna get a button so all I did which is just an actual button name itself I just only have one of those on the page so no, no need to put a class name or anything select that button now that we have that we're gonna add an event listener so this event is what is going to do is basically add the list, add our to dos. So let's make a comment. Add to dos. So on our button, we're going to add an event listener, and then we're going to be a click. Every time we click on that, this function will run. All right, let's inspect this. And let's test it out first before we even begin so we know it works right. Everything working correctly. Let's console log something. Console log high. Click the button. And there you go. Works. <coughs> okay. First, we're going to ingest it. We're going to create a list item with JavaScript. This is how you do it right here. And create. We want to put that inside of this variable. So let me create. Let's um, list item for user equals document dot create create element, and the element is going to be li, which is a list item, and let's console log that and see what we have. So it only runs once this function only runs once once you click this button. Click it. And there we go. As of LI. And as you can see here, it's not in here. It's not anywhere. It's not here either. So I'm gonna inspect. And then inspect the element. And the only LI the only LI that we have is this. We need even you know nothing. We have we have to then add this LI inside of the memory ourselves so now that we have that we want to create something called a text node which we want to put the text that we type in here each to do we're going to put that inside of the text node so let's do that 
No, talking to that could be ill in there. Pretty text mill. Okay. And <clears throat> this text node, I don't know how we get how we get the um, input here, the to do here, is we're going to select this um, this box, and then get the value out. So let's go to our main selectors, and we're going to select select this. Um, your input. You know, I'm going to use query, query selector again. And we're going to put input. Again, the only input that you have on a page, so no reason to um, put a class inside of it. No reason to add a class. And here it is. Got that selected. Now, I'm going to go right here. We're going to put that inside of a variable first. Your text equals. I'm going to select the user input. We're going to put dot value. What this does, it gets whatever is inside of here. So the, we're going to have this variable, the user text equals user input dot value, which is whatever is in here. So <coughs> I want to put this text inside of our text node. User text. And let's console log it in. Here we go. So now so right now our, our list item has nothing inside of it. We want to put this text inside the list item. All we do is a list item that we created, of course, the li underscore user dot append, which puts inside whatever we put in it in between this here. I'm gonna put that um, you know that text node. And let's console log it. we go a list item with hello inside all right so right now you know we type something in here we click this button and it creates the list item that is not in here it's not anywhere what we're going to do is we're going to select this this ul here and then append our list item inside of the ul and it'll add that to the list on the page let's go to our main selectors ul equals fuck you man that query selector ul now we do a call it ul dot append and i'm gonna pin this was item that we created so hope this works click me and there we go so our first phase is done now we can add list items we can add on um, our to do's here so now what we want to do is create a function that every time we click on a list item it takes it away, takes it off the screen. Let's go down here. Remove to do's. This function adds the to do's. This function removes to do's. So now let's create a variable that selects all the list items on the page. And this let li equals. So we're going to be using query selector all because we want all of the list items instead of 
So basically, the regular query selector only selects the first one that it finds, like the first URL or the first button. And all, it selects all of them. So, we're going to LI. So, I don't know if you guys use this or not. Some of you may have not. So, let's go over a little bit. Let's console log this LI and see what we get. So, we console logged it and we get a note list. So, once we the query selector off, gets all of them and puts them inside of a note list, which is basically an array. Pretty much. So, there's two ways. So, enables for us to access the list, the list items. We can't just, you know, select the LI, add an event listener like this. And then every time we click on one, it runs the function. Because what pop what this is is a note list. What the this li right here that we have we you know selected it's a note list. So it's not add an event add event listener as an event listener on whatever you click on. You can't click on a note list. So we need to loop through it first. So we want to li dot. I'm gonna be using for each and then function. So for each, and then it has automatic, you know, um, things you can run. When I have, we're just going to use the event. Like right now, it has the event, has the index, and the last one. The event is the actual, um, each list item, the index, and then it has one more. I forgot what it is, but we're just using the first one. And you can put anything you want, and then, you know. <coughs> These are the list items. We're going to put E there. So, for each list item, let's, let's console log E really fast. Let's log E. And there you have the LI. So, it loops through it. And it'll just, it'll get each one inside of it. Each, you know, list item that it finds instead of the note list. So, so each, so each list item, which is what E represents, we're gonna add event listener, and so we're gonna add, add event listener, add a click event, and then run a function for it afterwards. So in this function, <coughs> we're gonna do this. Uh, remove so once we it only works on each list item that we click on so we're gonna have this as an event listener on each one and then this that remove which is this L list item so that, that remove click it and it removes it okay so let's see what happens if we add another to do um we're just gonna put anything put that but that let's try to erase them and it's not working but let's see this one the one that's already inside of it that works so what's happening here let me let me try to explain it so um this when it selects we have our li variable that we created and then it selects all of the list items which is what this does so you know the page runs it goes from top to bottom it selects all the list items so they are now selected and then it stores that in this variable on this variable we have a for each which loops through it which iterates through each you know everything that we have in our, lo in our note list and then we have one this function this function removes the list items but it only it's not removing that one that we add inside of it because once it it loads already app once it load first we add one and then this doesn't this didn't capture the one that we added because it came afterwards and so what we're gonna do we're gonna have to update our list item so let's just copy this right here copy paste that 
so our list item is now updated so after we create our list item and now it goes through the document again selects all the list items which are in here which are only available in this scope here and now let's see what happens it still doesn't work why so this is searching for the variable li but this variable is updated in here it's only available in this scope you see what I'm saying and this is can't access it so what we need to do <coughs> we're going to create a function and add that function and call the function in here so it can use everything that's inside of it inside of the scope function um li li remove and put this at the top of the function copy this put this inside there's also one out one that's also run the function I remove run and we have the add we actually have the add right now the function works and we can you know Take away the list items that are already available <coughs> if we um comment out the function it can't do that anymore because it's not running so we actually have to run the function inside of here inside of the um inside of here let's run that function in there now it can access the scope try to add some some to do's so that's it works. You see? <coughs> so we're pretty much finished. Right now we just have a um, little bit of problems. So let's copy this comment right there. Remove to do's. Let's run that function. And then we have a few problems though. Whenever we add a, um, a to do and click, click on the button. We still, have, we still have this text right there and it's annoying just erasing it every time when we add another to do so we're going to go over here we're going to select the user input you know which is this call the dot value equal it to an empty string and what that would do you know the code runs from top to bottom click the button you know creates the list item accesses whatever we put in there you know put in a text node append that to list item append that list item to our you know in here where our to do's are and then afterwards this runs and it'll wipe this it'll make this nothing you see that so we have another problem Every time we add a, a list item, a to do, we we'll click the button, and then we have to, we have to reach, we have to we go over here to click on the box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use input dot focus, which it'll focus us back over here to the input field. You see that? So I don't have to go over here and select the don't have to go over here and select the box anymore. So another problem, our last one, whenever we had click on click me, there's nothing inside of it, nothing inside of the um the to do box. That's inside of the um input field, but it still adds them. So what we're gonna do is create an if statement. So if I want to have I want to make it so if there's at least three characters in here then this will run so if there are three characters inside of this box this runs okay so if so if statement paste that in there so if you didn't put that value dot 
length, which it does, you get the length of the values. Let's say there's, you know, this many, you know, letters in there or numbers, whatever you put inside of it. It gets the length, so it'll count all of these in there. So if that length is greater than, greater than, or equal to three, then this will run. Let's try to add something with one. So let's um see let's see what we've done now first. You click on it, nothing gets added because it's not the length isn't greater than or equal to three. Let's add one character. Nope. Two. Nope. Three. Yes, now it works. So we have our list item. Nice and done, finished. So um so yes, yeah, the end of this video. So if here at on Double on um Double Review Develops, we have different people that upload videos. This was my first um tutorial. So um, if you guys want to meet um teach any beginner any of you beginners how to make something else, let me on, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe. Also join the community. I'll have the link to our Discord in the description below. And yeah.